Charlotte. Uh, what was it like getting to see Zane again, catching back up with him? Yeah, I appreciate it. It was good. Good to see a familiar face. Um, obviously, I spent uh, some time with Zane out in Arizona, so you know, good to see him again, and I'm glad he's doing well. How much of a factor is that? I mean, just knowing him, being able to hold, having some experience doing that kind of stuff, sure, you know, helped you walk in the door. Yeah, it's definitely good. Um, you know, we have a rapport. I know how he likes the ball, the tilt on the ball, and the lean, and um, he knows how I set up when I'm holding. So. Uh, that familiarity aspect is definitely a, a plus, so, you know, definitely helps. Do you think uh, that that was a big reason they turned to you, uh, you know, to come in, besides, in addition to the punting? It's possible, yeah. yeah. And what was, what were the last 24 hours like for you? Uh, so definitely interesting. Um, you know, this is always something that, is in the back of your mind can happen when you're a free agent like that. And obviously, you know, this is my fourth go around. Um, so, you know, it's a possibility. So, you know, I'm sticking to a routine back home, uh, working a little bit. So, um, I was interesting telling. So, I was doing some sales work for my uncle's apparel uh, business. So, it was uh, neat to text him and say, hey, just a heads up, I'm, I'm flying down to uh, Charlotte. So I might not be in for a little bit, but um, yeah, but you know, you still have to prepare like this could happen. So, you know, I'm just excited to be here. How'd your uncle take the news? Uh, well, I still haven't told him that I signed, so I'm sure he's gonna, you know, be pumped and be fired up. So, yeah, he'll be happy for you. absolutely, he, absolutely. He's on Twitter. He may know already. Yeah. How, yeah. How, long, how long have you been, you know, working with your uncle? How long had you been working with the um, Probably since I got released from Arizona. So the last four weeks, four or five weeks. Was that yeah. in Philly? It is in Philly, yeah. It's called the runaround. So I'll shamelessly plug, uh, yeah. plug his business. <laughs> what is it? Athletic gear? <laughs> it is. He, uh, team outfitting. Um, you know, he has the ability to print logos on you know, gear and things like that. So. Um, well, you had mentioned you've been doing some work just to kind of stay loose. We'll kind of go through what specifically you've been doing as far as like what your routine had been to stay loose. Absolutely. So I uh, go to the field three times a week to punt, um, make sure, you know, I'm staying in a rhythm there, uh, going to the gym and doing the weightlifting and the stretching and flexibility exercises I need to kind of stay ready. Um, and at this point, um, you know, I kind of had that down to, you know, a little bit of a science. I know what I need and know, uh, you know, what my body needs to kind of be ready to step in if a situation like this would occur. Do you so. put anything on tape, or is that, is that kind of a, not, not a thing you need to do? Um, you can. I don't personally. Um, yeah, I don't. I'd be interested in hearing more about go around. Were you selling for them? The run around. Run around, yeah. sorry. Just trying to get some new accounts for them, uh, helping out um, you know, the sales guys there and helping my uncle with any sort of miscellaneous things he needed. Um, Were you yeah. <laughs> Solid, yeah, it was solid. <laughs> yeah, I was still learning. It was, uh, I was fresh, I was the fresh new guy. So what, what would the typical day be like for you? You, you go to work and then after you go kick or? No, so usually you know, I like to do that in the morning. So I'll wake up, go to the field. Um, if, it's a, if it's a punting day, um, you know, get, get some punts in, get some leg swings in. Uh, go to the gym, do some uh, stretching, weightlifting, anything I needed, and then would go uh, to his shop probably 10:30, 11, um, and then stay till five, 5:30, depending on um, you know what he needed for that particular day. So you're solid at it, but not good enough to equate punting in the NFL type <laughs> yes. numbers. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So did you just travel down here with your shoes, or you got some going? What's going on yeah, with your shoes? I brought my cleats with me, um, so that's, that's really all I needed. Had you been working out and had any other workouts prior to this since the end of the season? Mm -hmm. Yes. Where have you been? Uh, I was in. Um, I was up with the Jets. Um, I'm not sure what week it was. They had an injury, and I was at the workout there with a handful of other guys. What do you think would be the most important in you trying to, you know, if you are called up to play? Mm -hmm. Um, and you've been able to, I guess, be at your best or, or play well. What's sure. important to you? 
I think it's, um, you know, just stepping up to, you know, the situation, stepping up to the plate. Um, you know, I think I'm here for a reason. They brought me down here for a reason. So, you know, I'm excited if I get that opportunity just to make the most of it and, um, you know, trust my ability and know that I'm good enough to, you know, compete at a high level. Um, how many shoes does a kicker travel with when he has to go? Two pairs. Yeah. Well, like when you would go punt in Philly, where would you go? My high school. My high school field. LaSalle High School in Winmore. It's not in Center City. It's uh, Winmore's probably uh, 10 miles from Center City or 12 miles. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, it depended on the day. You know, sometimes um, there'd be another a free agent, local free agent guy who would come with me, or sometimes I was by myself. So it just depended on the day. What time the I guess you'd have to be out there before the high school team. I would go in the morning, and it, it was one of the practice fields, so it was, you know, somewhat isolated. So I was had the field to myself. Yeah.